friends today let us discuss uh, conditional probability so we have uh, already we have seen normal probability so it is uh, the logic based probability conditional probability so let's see the definition of conditional probability first so by definition if a and b there are two events a and b a and b are two events associated with the sample space of a random experiment the conditional probability of event a given that event b has occurred denoted by probability of a given b is read as probability of a given b equal to probability of a in the session b divided by probability of b pause the video note down the definition so first of all let's see uh, a normal probability mm. tossing a tossing a coin twice okay so let's see the sample space of tossing a coin twice so sample space s will be first of all head and head then head and tail then tail and head then uh tail and tail so we have four uh events that is uh, head and head head and tail tail and head tail and tail so first of all let's see the prop uh, i'm taking for the convenience i'm taking two events for example let a b exactly exactly one head so what will be the uh, means uh, events that is exactly one head means we have we have points head and mm, uh, sorry exactly we have exactly one head so head and tail then tail and head okay so this is the uh, event even day and let even b is equal to at least one head so at least one head means some points will be head and head head and tail and tail and head so we have two events that is even day exactly one head head and tail tail and head and uh, b that is at least one head head and head head and tail and tail and head so by using the normal probability theory we have probability of a is equal to probability of that is exactly one head that is head and tail plus probability of tail and head so what is the probability of head and tail this 1 by 4 we have four sample points so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 okay so likewise let's see let us see uh, the probability of probability of b okay even the b that is probability of at least uh, at least one head so head head and tail and okay head then tail plus tail and head so uh, we have so we have 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 okay that is 3 by 4 so probability of a is 1 by 2 and probability of b is 3 by 4 by using normal probability method okay so we have probability of a that is probability of a is equal to 1 by 2 and probability of b is equal to 3 by 4 so uh, let let us see the conditional probability that is probability of a given b that means probability of a okay that is b has already quit okay we using method that uh, using the logic that the even b has already occurred okay so we have the definition probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b so 
what is this probability of A in a session B? So, uh, we have to event A that is, that is exactly, uh, exactly one head. That is, exactly one head means head and tail and tail and head. And B that at least one head. That is, head, head and head, head and tail, tail and head. So, a intersection B means this what is in A and what is in B that is common in A and B. So head and tail, tail and head. Both these two are common. So that is head and tail and tail and head. So A intersection B means head and tail, tail and head. Uh, by using probability, that is probability of A intersection B is equal to, that is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, that is 2 by 4, that is 1 by 2. So we have probability of A intersection B is equal to 1 by 2 and we have probability of B is equal to 3 by 4. By using applying this here, we have probability of A intersection B is equal to 1 by 2. And probability of B is equal to 3 by 4. And we have 1 by 2 into 4 by 3. And we have 2 by 3. So the answer is 2 by 3. I hope it's clear. If you have any doubt, you just pause the video and see it again. And otherwise, uh, let's see one more example. So this is the question. A family has two children. What is the probability that both the children are boys given? So, it is a condition. Given that at least one of them is a boy. So, conditional probability is always based on one condition. Okay. So, the condition is that at least one of them is a boy. So, read the question once again. So let us write the sample space. So here we have two children. Okay. So it can be either two boys. Okay. Or boy or girl. Or girl or boy. So why girl or boy? I will tell it. Okay. Once again. Girl and girl. So this is the sample space. That is elder one. And Okay, so that is first one is boy, and second one is also boy. First one is boy, second one is girl. First one is girl, second one is boy. First one is girl, and second one is girl. So we have sample space BB, BG, GB, and GG. So let's read the question once again. What is the probability that both the children are boys? Both the children are boys. So first even day A equal to both are both are boys. So both are boys means we have only one sample point that is both are boys. Okay. And even B that is given that at least one of them is a boy. At least one of them is a boy means it can be sorry, at least one boy. So it can be boy and boy or boy and girl or girl and boy. Okay. So we have two events. A. Both are boys. And given that, so it is the condition, given that at least one of them is a boy, that is, can be boy and boy, boy and girl, girl and boy. So, let us solve it using the conditional probability uh, formula. So, we have, by conditional probability, we have, that is, probability of A given B is equal to, Probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. Okay. So, probability of A. What is A intersection B? That is, what is common in both uh, two events? That is, this one. Okay. So, both the boys are both. Is a 
common one in uh, both event A and event B. And we have uh, so uh, by using probability, probability of A in the station B is equal to 1 by 4. Okay, so we have four totally we have so four sample points and uh, A in the session B will be 1 by 1 by 4. Okay, so we have probability of B. We have probability of B, probability of B is equal to okay, that is 1, 2, 3, 3 sample points are the that is 3 by 4. By applying it, we will be getting 1 by 4 divided by 3 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4 into 4 by 3 is equal to 1 by 3. So this is the final answer. So here even A is both are boys. Given that at least one boy is the Okay, so we have used probability of A given B. Okay, given that at least one boy is there and A means both are boys. So, we have 1 by 3. That is probability of A in the session B is equal to 1 by 4. Probability of B is equal to 3 by 4. So, we have the final answer 1 by 3. Okay. You so, hope it is clear. If you have any doubt, please comment it in the comment box. So uh, be safe, stay at home, enjoy life, keep learning.